Here we have Scott using the gymnastic rings, which are a fantastic tool you can use for adding instability to your training. In the last clip you saw Scott doing a basic knee tuck and now you're going to see me doing a basic knee tuck with a twist. You'll notice that I'm trying to keep my back down and flat whilst pulling in with the abdominals and not purely by the knees. Now by twisting to the side what we're doing is we're increasing the tension on one side which then throws your instability out even more and then to balance that off we turn to the other side and do the same amount of reps again. Now Scott is going to do some basic body weight upright rows, keep your elbows tucked in and drive them back. Now I'm placing a wobble cushion underneath Scott's heels just to make the exercise that little bit more harder to create more instability and to force the muscles to work more. L upright rows. These as with any other exercise you want to aim to pull the elbows in close, tight and back and to keep the legs pointing forward. Because the rings create such an unstable environment you'll notice that we've attached some resistance bands to Scott's belt. These will help reduce the weight that he's pushing through his arms and allow him to be able to do the dips. Now, just the same thing again, but without the use of the resistance bands to reduce the weight. Here you will see that I've attached a chain to my dipping belt, just to add that little bit of extra resistance on each rep. barbell pull over and press. As you can see Scott's taking a shoulder width grip, he's keeping his arms bent as he pulls the bar over, pressing right up to the top, lowering back down to chest level and then with arms bent back over until the barbell touches the floor before beginning the next rep again. Bent over barbell rows, shoulder width grip, back flat and pull right into the belly button region. Now we have Scott doing a hand clean to a push press. The exercise begins with the bar hanging down at arm's length. The hips travel backwards slightly to engage the hamstrings, then you drive forward with the hips whilst at the same time shrugging the shoulders and bringing the elbows forward and up to catch the bar at shoulder level. You then dip at the knees and drive up at the same time whilst pushing the barbell overhead to finish the exercise. Here we have the same exercise sequence but instead of the bar being from a hang position each rep starts from the floor. Steinborn squat. Upend the bar onto its side, place one hand at the top, one hand at the bottom, 
and take a wide stance. Lean into the bar and shoulder it, dropping into a bottom squat position and then stand up straight. Realign your feet at shoulder width apart. Do the required amount of reps and then offload the bar in the same way as which you were loaded the bar, but this time to the opposite side. Bruce curls. Begin with the bar at arm's length as if doing a normal barbell curl, but go into the same position you would take as if doing a Romanian deadlift. As you start to stand up, drive the hips forward as fast as possible and then curl the weight up to the top. Standing tricep extensions. Begin with the weight held straight above the head, keeping the elbows pointing up Allow the weight to travel behind the head for a full stretch and then return to the starting position at the top.
my bees in. Okay, 
so two more laps, 20, 20 reps. Fourteen more reps total. Go on. Everything you can answer the question. The man is social intoxication. Keep your butt down. One. Yeah. Two. Three. Keep that down. Drop your hips. There. Go on. Don't throw it down unless you're going to smash it over. Come on, nearly there. Oh yeah, fuck that. Here we are. I have a memory. This room is gonna be.